What's going on, people? This is Tashira Say for Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to Playing With. In this episode, we're going to talk about Virtual CZ by Plugin Boutique. Now, this emulates the classic CZ Sense by Casio. It has over 200 presets with thousands available online, an easy to use interface, switchable ADSR and CZ style envelope generators, and it's available in all plugin formats and also standalone. So, with that said, let's get into it. Now, there's a lot going on in this plugin, so pardon me if I actually skip over some things. But you know how I do with my reviews. I really just want to get down to the basics and show you what it's capable of and what sounds it generates. So let's kick things off and show you the browser up here. Of course, you got your previous and next. You can also click the title and that'll take you to this browser where you can actually see the system or factory uh, presets. And you have different banks. You hover over a bank and you see all of the patches available. Of course, you can also save your own user presets and you can do that right here. Save, load, initialize. A couple other things you may be interested in. Under tools, if this is some stuff you're interested in, it's here. <laughs> but one thing I wanted to show you is you can actually set which model of CZ you're using, which is very cool. And with that, let's get into some of these patches, man, and see what's going on. See, already, already it has my attention because, you know, if you're a fan of this particular show or this channel, you know, I'm really, really in love with uh, 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 classic synth emulations. And so far, I like what I'm hearing. Let's get into some of these other patches. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Mm. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, man. Virtual with CZ, you have my attention. <laughs> Golden keys. Okay, okay, let's jump to a couple of these other banks and see what's going on here. Detroit pad. Mm. <laughs> kind of remind, reminds me of uh, some of the music from the Legend of Zelda Part 2, the Adventure Link. So, yeah, shout out to all of my old school Nintendo players. <laughs> Man, that's nice. Plus, I'm from Detroit, so, of course, I got to gravitate to that. Hold the cord. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Classic right there. Hitting all kind of wrong notes. <laughs> And we're really not unlocking the power of this just yet. I'm just going through, kind of give you an idea of what's going on with the sound bank on here. But we are going to get into uh, the uh, ADSR and effects and oscillating aspects of it very shortly. Nice. I 
Nothing like a really, really nice sweep. I like sweeps a lot. Just the basic sounds in here are crazy. I can only imagine how the uh, the rest of the user patches that are available online, I can only imagine how those are. Ooh. I like that. Mm-hmm. Really, really nice stuff going on in here. Soft brass. Yeah, liking that so far. So let's actually take you around what else is going on with this plugin. First and foremost, this right here is actually pretty cool. Right click on it and you can actually change the uh, color of the display. So you can go cyan or you can go green. And you know, um, blue is my favorite color, so I'll keep it on cyan. But that gives you that that throwback uh, feel of a you know an old school synth uh, with the with the LCD display display, which is very very cool. But then you have your oscillator vibrato you have all your master controls over here down here uh you actually have currently the uh mseg um this is how you generate your sounds but you can switch between adsr a little simpler interface or you can keep it with the cz style which is just the msg which is very cool that you have that capability and i'm assuming this is what was on the actual keyboards but you also have the the simpler ADSR controls, which is very, very cool. Uh, let's get into, let's go back up here and find a pretty decent patch we can mess around with. Show you what's going on. Okay. So now over here, you have your line one, line two, and of course you can click on these and actually select which shape you want to use. So it's currently on the double sign, but you can go square. And of course, the routing A to B, blah, blah, blah. You can set, say, Rezo down here. Play around with this a little bit. Get over here, you can play around as far as the different octaves. Semitones. really really silly with this <laughs> so you got that and then the mix right here if it's going line one line two individually or line one plus line two line one line one blah 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 Man. <laughs> it gets pretty silly. Pretty silly, pretty quick. And you know me, I can play around with this stuff. And I'm not the greatest of sound designers, but I can definitely get in here and in time make something really nice. So yeah, got that going on with the oscillator. Then you have your vibrato over here. And you can set the rate to BPM if you like, uh, the sync to free or host sync. Uh, let's go back here. Your try, well, actually, not the try, but the shape of it down here. 
and hey, over here you got your rate. You set that rate right there. How deep you want it to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sickening. Man. <laughs> Get really crazy over there. So then you jump over here to your master and you got your polyphony where you go polyphonic, um, legato, monophonic. Man, that's sick. <laughs> over here you have your master tuner so you can go up and down or select zero as far as the, uh, the master octave. So if you shot, shift it up, or if you went down. Man, that's crazy. Set your portamento right here. So we can go. <laughs> it's not moving quick enough, let's see. There we go. nuts then you can edit the scaling over here which is very very cool you have your velocity after touch scaling even your tuning table and these can be done by simply clicking these buttons up here and you can select the curve if you like you can go through basically nudging it the shape of it up and down here but the other cool thing is you can draw it <laughs> yeah nuts <laughs> absolutely nuts lock it in right here if you choose and i believe that will lock that for uh for every patch that you switch between i think that's how that works pardon me if it doesn't but uh <laughs> sickening sickening master volume right here yeah your unisys the number of voices that you're using <laughs> and pardon me if this is actually annoying you, but I'm just trying to, you know, show you how this stuff works. Detune right here. Yeah. Set your bin range over here so you can go up to 12. Well, let's say I go to an eight. <laughs> just just sickening man <laughs> and then your course you can set the depth i forgot we're on mono let's go back to poly This is so crazy man and we're not even we're not even done there's still a lot more to this thing you have you can lock that in and you have your panning depth right there or width right there but as i was showing you before the difference between the envelope generator so the msg or mseg and one thing that's that happens once you get to editing this stuff it visually shows up over here Just sick. Yeah. And see, I'm an ADSR cat, so. I know people are like, Tasha, you couldn't pick a more annoying patch. <laughs> and I apologize about that. But with all of that said, 
for me, the absolute coolest feature of this particular plugin is this being able to go to this panel right here on pretty much every one of these clicking here, right clicking and you can reset or you can randomize. And every time you, you click it, it's going to randomize it again. <laughs> and again, you can do that for all of these. Sickening, dude. Very, very sick. Just, just sickening. Matter of fact, let's go to something different. Perfect. All right. Let's do a little random here. A little bit here. That might be a little too much. Then you get down here and you can just go sickening again, random. Wow. Just sickening. <laughs> And again, man, and that has a long attack on it. <laughs> there we go. You can get something going on. Let's randomize it again. Yeah. <laughs> so. If I haven't completely turned you off but all the randomization and annoying sounds, if you're interested in once again having those classic CZ synths, or if you're just looking for another great vintage emulation, I'm going to highly recommend Virtual CZ. You can purchase Virtual CZ from PluginBoutique.com for $99 US, and yes, it is an instant download. On that note, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.